that's all it is. Uh, good luck with your album drop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, drunk face ass nigga. <laughs> face ass nigga oh shit bro that shit funny as hell all right jay Sires, the man i'm back i'm back i'm back in the building in the building um we got young boy goes ballistic on dirty blah blah blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah let's give this a thumbs up and um let's watch this now, oh, holy, now ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what's going on with NBA Young Boy. You guys will know he's been on house arrest for quite a long time. Feels like a couple years at this point. However, it must be the asbestos up in that crib in Utah, or I don't know, maybe it's the lead poisoning and the goddamn fingernail polish, or maybe it's just the goddamn spray paint that he's using to paint. Bro, this nigga's this nigga's dissing him like crazy, bro. Yeah, bro. Hey, acad and academics be getting caught lacking too. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Something happened to academics. It's his fault. This nigga, bro. <laughs> but he just went bad on everybody, including me. Okay. I mean, well, why I wouldn't he, bro? You over here speaking on speaking on niggas' lives and shit. Like that would piss me off. Like why the fuck you worry about me, nigga? Like, and like people be like, this world is fake as hell. It's full of fake love. It's full of, bro. Like, that's how I am right now. But I still be showing love to people. Like, I still be showing like genuine. Like, I be nice to people and shit. But not, I mean, well, I keep it cordial type shit. I'm not about to, but, like, I hate niggas, so. But, like, females and shit, like, if you a good female, then, yeah, I'm going uh, I'm to be nice to you and all of that and all of that. But, uh, yeah, these rats out here, they don't get no respect, real shit. Like, not at all. Like, tsk, I'm not holding the door open for no rat. Fuck, I look like, bitch, you ran through. Hold the door open for yourself, bitch. Fuck, is you talking about? It's just me. Now, if you guys don't know, um, listen, me and NBA Youngboy, we've been pretty cordial. I would consider that we used to be more than acquaintances. Maybe some would call friends. Regardless, I've had multiple private conversations. And they got a Draco now, in the stoop. After a couple days ago where I incorrectly, and I'll admit incorrectly, reported that the beef was squashed between him and Dirk, clearly Youngboy is not in the mood for none of the stop the violence that he's been preaching the last couple of days. So, he took to his burner Twitter because, yes, for whatever reason, he's trying to be edgy by not using his main account, so he used alternate burner accounts. And listen, I don't know. You, you guys figure it out. And he basically said, hey, act, you a bitch, okay? Now, <laughs> again, I, I figured tip to tat. Listen, I said something incorrect. He was upset about it, but I left it at that. I said, hey, for whatever reason, he didn't feel the need to call me when he usually calls me about everything else. However, I'll just let him be, and clearly, you know, he must be going through some stuff. Okay, now, a couple days later, and if you don't know, Lil Durk announced he's dropping an album Friday, and Youngboy popped up and said, he's dropping an album too. Now, after Lil Durk said something which seemingly wasn't... Bro, like, Dirk, bro, Durk's music is ass, bro. Like, why is, bro, why is Durk even comparing himself to Youngboy, bro? Like, that nigga, bro, King Bond was better than him. That nigga got whacked. And now this nigga going up. Like, bro, like, this nigga Dirk has two flows, bro. He's not versatile at all, bro. Like, I'm going to be better than this, that nigga by fucking nigga within, like, by the end of this year, bro. Like, but I believe, I don't know. I believe in the, I believe in the best stuff. I'm, I want to be number one type shit with anything I do. But... This is that's just my mindset, but no, nah, for real though, like this nigga can't compare to Young Boy though. Like what, bro? <laughs> like what? The At like young boy, what the hell? Yo, listen, he's glad his music get played on other platforms other than YouTube. Basically, people always say that Young Boy's the YouTube rapper, right? And Young Boy took offense to it, and he decided to not only diss Dirk, but Dirk's baby mama, and of course, throw good academics in there. Okay. I mean, shit. Bro, you might as well, if you're going to speak on one person, you might as well speak on everybody. Like, no DS and like, if, bro, like, she spoke on his BM, uh, Dirk's BM, spoke on uh, YB before, and uh, young boy wife ain't never say shit. I don't even think she used, bro, does young boy wife even use social media, bro? Like, I don't even think she used social media. What the hell, now, bro? Uh, he what tweeted out a picture doing? of his album cover, which you already know, that's promo he says Lil Durk you a bitch 
and your nasty ass mm -hmm. talk. And it's show. In academics, you are pure fat hole. Your mouth's gonna be the reason. You from now on, and then it says Riches Up. Apparently, his album's called Riches Up. Now, he continued because he then tweeted out directly at India and he says, Tell that pussy bitch he better not drop. He ain't dang pretty lady. Then he at me and he says, Academics, you steady talk about sales, bitch. I'm paid. Can't manipulate me. Clown, you embarrass yourself. Simple fact, I can't be fucked with. That's why I drop. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, you know what? I'm gonna indulge everybody and try to see. <laughs> Cause all uh, you niggas hoes know better. Yeah. Uh, does young boy have a reason or a point to be mad at me? Because I didn't report the accurate fact that him and Dirk ain't squashed nothing, right? Um, yes, I think I think that that's a very fair point. If if I got it wrong, I think he has a point to be mad. However, I did take accountability. I did a Bro, that's crazy, okay. bro. This nigga Dirk been rapping for like ten years, bro. Young boy been rapping since. Well, they both now nah, Dirk been rapping for longer than that. But I'm talking about like, like how the fuck you gonna rap that long and still like only have two flows? Like what the fuck, bro? Like. I feel like niggas be getting caught off the, off the street shit more than like like the image off of that than that music. Cause like if you put if you portray that image, then you gonna get more more of that crowd and shit like that. Which is a smart smart business move, but like that shit come with a lot though. Like you gotta stand on everything you say and shit. Like fuck all that, nigga. Fuck looking around your back, clutching your strap and shit. That shit dumb as hell. Like fuck that. Like niggas be stuck in that mindset and shit. Like. I now, I will also say that what this has shown is that everything that we have perceived about Young Boy seems to be completely fake and fraud. And what I mean by that is he's been preaching stop the violence, but now he's trying to make it known that he wants the to make fight in the case. Okay? Yeah. Pick a side, brother, okay? I'm also going to say that I've never seen him this overtly try to use controversy for sales. I've talked to him multiple times. He claims he doesn't care about sales. Yet after his last album sold 62,000 copies for his week, it's apparent that he his new tactics of trying to sell records is either to overtly, you know, get into some back and forth because he literally tweeted out the album cover with this and a bunch of people. Okay, here's the point about it. Regardless of what's going on, hey, listen, be mad at me all you want. You should be mad about a hundred other things, but listen, I'm just going to give some blatant advice, okay? Young boy, the edginess is over, okay? Just use your Instagram account. It's clear you're bothered a little bit by sales because you responded to me while I was on live talking about sales. And I don't think you're doing this if Lil Durk doesn't outsell you. And what happened is that in the last year or so, Lil Durk baited you out. He basically got you to drop a diss on one that I liked, which was called I Hate Young Boy. When you dropped it out of season, you weren't releasing music, you did it sporadically because you were upset. And what happened is that Lil Durk followed that up because he dropped AHA. He essentially dropped his album and he sold a lot of copies. He sold 120,000. When yeah. you later dropped your album, you sold like around 100. Then you dropped another album and you sold 60. You can fool a lot of people a lot of the times and fool some of the people some of the time, but you probably won't fool all the people all the time, all right? Uh, the mere fact is you're coming off to be exactly like every other rapper using online views and back and forths and beats that's actually really rooted and stemmed in the streets to sell records that's all you're doing you're on house arrest you can swing in the air I mean, they both doing the same go thing. 100 feet outside if the we, house if we being real, they both doing so the same with thing. all due respect all of this like stop the violence increase the violence I mean, I don't even know if you can make it to the mailbox. Like, just calm it down, promote your music. At the end of the day, you're very blessed and you're in a very fortunate position and you're, make, you're able to make a living off of this whole thing. But this whole, like, you know what I mean? Like, anger management, shout at my phone, you know, like, hey, listen, you want to promote your music and get some attention around it. I get it. The whole diss people to get more attention works, still not going to help the sales because you're just not doing what the music business requires you to do to sell more records. You got the biggest fan base in the game, but you're just not utilizing it right. That's what I'm thinking. You let Lil Durk literally out checkmate you and it essentially see. Nah, you know what it is? That nigga young boy not doing all the shit that the industry wanted him to do. Like that nigga stating his opinion and all that. 
Like, you supposed to keep quiet and all that. Like, they silence you, all type of shit. But Dirk following the rules and shit like that. So, that nigga's getting more sales and shit. Because there's no way he's getting more sales than YB, bro. Like, what the hell, bro? It's like the bigger artist because he's selling more. But in reality, he's I mean, Dirk needs to straight, but better. like. Don't complain about this industry, industry, industry. And I heard him say this thing about industry me. friends when he said he was talking about me. Brother, if you that anti-industry, bro, go stop making music. You threatened it like 20 times, but you're not going to do it because it's fed your family and it keeps giving you tens of millions of dollars. Again, after a while, it kind of becomes see-through, okay? You could, you could act like you don't care, but it seems like you care. You could act like you don't care about sales, but it also seems like you care. And also, you could act like you're tied to this industry but you're doing the same industry things, you're just not doing it in a traditional way. Again, enlist in an anger management class, stop shouting at the phone, and hopefully, I hope you beat your second federal case, because I really think this all stems from you being locked in the house. You've been locked in the house too long, man, and that's the problem, okay? Anyway, get well, young boy. I uh, hope, you know, whatever bipolar trip you're going through now, it will pass, and at that point, you know, I'll be here to forgive you, okay? That's all it is. Uh, good luck with your album drop. <laughs> hey, drunk face ass nigga. <laughs> Ooh, drunk face ass nigga. Oh shit, bro, that shit funny as hell. Hey, but y'all, um, like, actually, let me finish playing this out. Listen, you know what? I'll buy a few copies. Hopefully, you do outsell your a little dirt. Okay? Who knows? Get a got box, but you guys like them. Subscribe. Young boy goes off the deep end. According to him, uh, I don't even know what he's trying to say. He's basically just saying that everybody's bitches and he's dropping it out. Okay. Where have we seen that before? Get a guy my school academics. What do you guys think about this? Oh! Switch to Chrome. What the fuck was that? Oh! Like, what the f what the <laughs> What the hell was that? Hey, put Jay Search in the building. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe on this. to this fucking channel. Please. I love y'all. If you support me, I love you. Uh, we're going a long ways, man. We're going, we're coming along, man. We're getting 4K watch time hours this week. I mean, this shit, this week, fuck it. This week, we're getting 4K. I was gonna say this month, but we're getting 4K watch time hours. This week, if I say it, I mean it. We're getting 4K watch hours this week, nigga. Yeah. So, with that being said, tomorrow I will drop three videos. And for the rest of the week, I'll drop three videos every day. As long as I'm feeling, as long as I, yeah, I will. But anyways. Jay Surgeon in the building, don't forget to let me know how, like, how y'all feeling in the comments at the end of this video. It's the end of the video right now, and I'm out.